police farce. Today is my day away from cases to catch up on paperwork. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? What's the verdict on the game? So far, it's amazing, California. How are you doing, by the way? It's good to see you. Sorry, I was a bit slow catching your message earlier. You ready, detective? Huh? For McNugget's retirement party, the caterer has arrived with the cake. Grab your gift and let's go. Gift? I thought you'd forget. Don't worry, I put your name on my gift. It's from us. This is Twin Lakes FM featuring me, Dick Brickman, bringing you Dick Brickman Presents the Weather with me, Dick Brickman. It's raining. Tune in later for me, Dick Brickman, presenting Dick Brickman's Tricky Kicks. Featuring me, Dick Brickman. When all this dark side stuff is put to bed, I'm going to see the whole world. My notes from open cases. The downtown Gulliman. A possibly undead flasher. Mirror Jane, a woman appearing in mirrors to other women who look exactly like her. Lichen Toupee, a wig made from werewolf hair which turns others into werewolves when worn. Maybe that should be werewolves. This is my life now. My trusty coat goes with everything from shirt and tie to sportswear. My various attempts to file reports for the things I've seen. This was a gift from my old mentor, Sergeant McDesk. <laughs> oh boy. My folders of weird goings on in Twin Lakes. This computer has been with me since the beginning. The budget won't allow for an upgrade. I actually don't know what's in these. The keys were lost before this became my office. Nothing beats that first cup of coffee. If only I had a slice of pie to go with it. Okay. Verdict just went up another notch because we get coffee in the game. A glass of cold, refreshing, nope, this is warm, and oddly colored. Java, Sweet Joe, Black Oil, Uncle Moo Moo's Morning Surprise, The Liquid Viper, Coffee. Supports Backs. Fancy. Best hair on the force. Okay, I'll give him that one. This one looks homemade. Best at not being McQueen. McKing won this for always for being the best diver on the force. I don't recall anyone else being allowed to partake. Helmet trophy? We're officially calling it Uncle Moo Moo's Morning Surprise from now on. McKing and the Chief. I guess these are the photos you get when you're married to the mayor. His machine has an off button. Impressive. It's full of signed pictures of McKing. Figures. There's space in here for a pottery wheel? Apart from the hole for the air supply, McKing's trophy is actually a working airtight helmet. If I found a tube, I could get this thing back in action. Seems Murakami has set a new high score in whatever he's playing. 
damn it. How am I meant to get better than him if you keep making me do work? Tell me that, eh? Broken wires. Murakami won't care if they're gone. Detective Wazinski. No talk. Working. Friendly as ever, Wazinski. Go away. The pressure seems gone. I should fix it before it's needed. This has got to be an English development company. Or British, at least. I'd be out of work if Chief Scully found me doing that. Fire! You're meant to say surprise, detective, not fire. Duly, the gifts are on fire. They sure are impressive. Um, Chief Scully. It even looks like Scully. Hey, I wanted extra cream on my slice. I can 100% say this is not something I expected to do today. You received item fixed fire extinguisher. That's that taken care of. Wait, what's that? That urn. You mean our gift? Dooley, where did you get that? In that mysterious Chinese shop we visited last week. Oh no. Investigated. We investigated it. For gremlins. <laughs> oh god. That seems like racial profiling to me. Dooley, he clearly had gremlins, which you then brought, bought and brought to the station. Well then, case closed. Dooley, the lid was burnt off. The gremlins are missing, and the station is crumbling apart. Like I said, case closed. Dooley, we need to find them before somebody gets hurt. Here, take this. But cake... Duly receives item, Gremlin Urn. I am going to devour that thing. Hands off, officer. We're not cutting into it yet. But chief... Detective? Why didn't you see the fire, chief? Of course, it was right there. And you didn't do anything? What can I do? If people want to re-gift the fires I got them last month, then let them. Spooky doorway is Irish. Wait, you were the one who set those fires around the station last month? They were beacons of hope, all very metaphorical. They were real fires. Metaphors can be very real. Chief, why is McKing's office so much nicer than mine? You think our barely legal goblins and ghouls division should have a bigger office than the mayor's husband? Just be glad you're not down in the basement. <laughs> thanks for supporting the dark side division chief don't thank me just keep the city clean of those oogie boogie men and the oogie boogie women and non-binary oogie boogies no discrimination in regards to oogie boogies except for the discrimination of keeping them out of twin legs apart from that one yes I think there may be gremlins loose in the station Seriously? We just talked about this. You have one job. One job. No Oogie Boogies in Twin Lakes. This station is in Twin Lakes. Get this situation under control, Detective. On it, Chief. No party for you two until this mess is cleaned up. Get to it. Aww. From what I can see, nobody else got him anything nice anyway. I don't understand why we're celebrating yet. I've got two days left till retirement. We can't risk you not making it and us losing out on a party. 
I should be offended, but I do like a good party. I love all the booze we have at these things. It's the donut and coffee rota. Important stuff. Takeout menus. In fact, I'm seeing nothing work-related in here at all. It's a party guy. Relax. Um... We use the same banner for every retirement. Budgets have to be cut somewhere, detective. Do slashed budgets explain why this place is falling apart? No, I'm pretty sure everything was functioning this morning. Maybe you should look into it. Why are, why are the sprinklers broken? What's going on here? Yep, two minute warning, folks. And he said, hey, that's my kid's candy, give it back. So I told him I was the mayor's husband, then showed him my badge and fined him for obstruction of justice. Oh, you're so bad. It must be so great for you to have a real detective like McKing around to learn from. I don't have time to talk to you. Isn't there a Wookiee or something you should be arresting? That's not what... Whatever, McLean. Live long and prosper, dork. Wow. Hands off, McLean. Something's broken the evidence door. Probably you and your idiot sidekick's fault. I'm going to fix it with my manly skills and muscles. If you really want to help, you can fetch me some more coffee. No need for sugar. Dallas is enough sweetness for me. Oh, you're so bad. I hate that man. <laughs> but he's so dreamy. You can't have my coffee, sir. Now that I don't need it, I find a working extinguisher. Dooley is the best. <laughs> All right, guys. Looks like it's about time for ads to start, so I'm going to run some clips, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, and I'm back. This is the case where things start to be more complicated? That's okay. Thank you, Crispy. Thank you, Aaron Lohr. Officer Cal... Officer Kell, he was meant to be a sniffer dog, but somebody decided to train him only to sniff out candy. <laughs> but think of all the candy-related crimes he's been able to help solve. True, we did have an alarmingly high rate of candy smuggling in Twin Lakes. Good job, officer. There's nothing in here but laxatives. Somebody put him in there to suggest us cops are all full of sh Twin Lakes Police Department. How can I direct your call? Oh. Spiked coffee. You know what? I have changed my mind. Here you go. <laughs> Keep the coffee coming, McLean. I could drink this stuff all day. Oh, oh no. Uh, get out of my way. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Karma. Oh, love it. I hope he's okay in there. The people of Twin Lakes need a hero to look up to. My insides make it stop. Now to fix this with my manly skills and muscles, but mostly by finding a way to cheat this magnetic lock. I don't want my colleagues seeing me at that. Without some kind of air pipe, that's just a trophy on my head. Shooting range, huh? And garage.
Um, how did it get a gun? Why is everything so unsafe in this station? Pew pew dee. Looks like our guys are good enough shots to be stormtroopers. Game, don't make me do my stormtrooper rant. A junction box. They're bust. If I want them to work again, I need to fix the system in the basement. There's a serious draft coming from those vents. The bolts probably just need to be tightened up. Our government issued block with wheels. Seriously, why does he get all these nice things? A bulletproof sports car? The jerk. I think this is the junction box for the dispatch room. I see no reason to do that at this time. They can barely see in those helmets. Luke isn't trained. He's not a good judge. A lump of cold, hard clay. I've no use for this right now. Keyword, right now. Some spare pipes for the work that's happening. Let's get the water flowing again in case another fire starts. The water pipes run all over the station from the briefing room to the shooting range. But the system seems broken right now. Probably the gremlin's fault. Okay, this is one of the turny thingies. Sprinkler should be working now. You'll have me out of work, you will. Exactly, Haggis. Luke may not have known how to turn on the Stormtrooper helmet's HUD. I don't want to mess with it now that it's working. You don't look very busy. Power tools bust, so Union says I don't work. Not my place to go against the Union. You seem familiar. Do I know you? Not that I know of, no. Gary Plinkman. I think the tiny picket fences really make this place seem homely. Good addition by the Chief. Mind if I borrow this? Why not? Can't see me getting back to work anytime soon. Monkey wrench. I hope they're building a gym down here. I'd like to work out while I'm bunking off work. <laughs> Gremlins have broken everything else around here. I'm sure that if I didn't remove this now, it'd fall off soon anyway. Neither of us believes that, but I'm so into this. Fight the system. Duly, we're part of the system. Speak for yourself. I'm bringing this place down from the inside. I... I kind of knew that. Well, I did not expect that to happen. Feel bad about it? No. No. I'll take this for my trophy cabinet. I mean, I'll take it to be repaired. Yeah, that second one. Detective, how do you get all these things into your pockets? Origami? <laughs> Let's say the vent broke because some maverick cop was crawling through it. It's still nicer than our car. 
You met a gale pink. Oh, that's true. You use that to turn your monkeys. It's true. It's true. He's too far to hit with this. I'll need to find another way to make use of it. The sprinklers are fixed now, but I need something to activate them. That'll be us one day. You'll be my king and I'll be Dallas. <laughs> you know what I mean. Hands off, my lunch is in there. Why is it hidden in work files? So nobody here will touch it. You're a wise man, Banks. What do you want, Detective? Can't you see I have a reception desk to recept at? Can't talk now, Detective. The system's broken and I can't figure out why. Definitely not this guy. I love that he's got the white spike. <clears throat> Oh, it literally is Spike from Gremlins. Yummy, yummy wires. It's trying to hack the database and steal all human info. We should try him, Detective. Interesting idea. It's a mug. A normal, run-of-the-mill mug. I don't know why I feel this need to comment on every item in a room. Hey, representation. I love it. This is the first bit of actual police work I've seen in this place today. Thank you, Greeny. Friday evening, 7 p.m., but crime never sleeps. Us, well, we take shifts, and we're off on public holidays. Gotta take those rest days, detective. The servers for the TLP. <laughs> Bite. Uh. Ouch. Don't get too close, detective. That thing is a biter. He just... I just got... Yeah, thanks, Dooley. Thumbs up. I don't know much about how this, all this works, but I know that's not right. The hose they used to loop through the cell door handles to keep lock the place. What? The hose they used to loop the, through the cell door handles to lock the place up at night? Um. Chief Skelly really pulled this place into a sort of order, didn't she? Plugging this into here gives me... Great, a diving helmet.
I'm only putting this on somewhere where nobody will see. <laughs> nice, Aranor. Those are very useful pointers. We put that up to cover the hole a prisoner dug to escape. Sadly for him, he dug his way into the rest of the station. <clears throat> this guy's in police protection for informing. Oh my god, he's a rat. Try not to let your incarceration get you down. Hey, he looks familiar. Detective. I'm going to use my detectiving skills and say you're in for solicitation. Impressive. Your yes, not his soliciting. Right, anyway, hand them over, Roy. Hand what over? Your matches and cigars. Wish I'd never met you, detective. Did you hear? No, I'm not doing this. I just don't find toilets all that funny. Engineer Tam. I love the continuity in this cases. Old Tam loves to whittle. Whittle, whittle, whittle. Tam, you can't have a knife in prison. Tam can and Tam has. I'm afraid I have to confiscate that. Tam does not have warmth for you in his heart. Tam puts his name places so he knows what's his and what's not. Seriously, what am I meant to say about them that isn't literally toilet humor? The continuity continues consistently? That's awesome. I love it. This should achieve something? It did. The creature is, uh, oh. Oh. The creature is, um, wet. I don't know why I expected more from that. Now it's armed and wet. Great job, me. <laughs> Chew. Maybe if we wait around long enough, it'll catch a cold. <laughs> oh, boy. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to be following the movie. Have you ever tried to, I don't know, open something like that just using a screwdriver? I've always been more of a lateral thinker. Now I just need to find something to rewire this with. Okay, let's see. I need to drag the wires from one node to the other same colored node without crossing them. There we go. Eek. Yes, the system is back online. Time to do some hardcore cop work. It's already a gremlin. Yeah, but it should make them reproduce. Will do, Greeny. Thank you. Will do. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. Not that one yet. Can't talk now, detective. The system's back online and there are people who need our help. I'm glad that's fixed, at least. It's passed out. Let's get it out of here. You received item dispatch, Gremlin. The sound overload knocked this guy out. The shooting range is another sigh moment. That's okay. Wouldn't this be some place where nobody would see? Where can we ditch Dooley then? Let's go back where we came from. Nope, definitely not here. Been put off coffee for a while. Okay. Why is this broken? Maybe the motor is bust. I'll have a look at this later. Oh. Okay, broken wall. I don't remember this place being so run down. And we're coming to you live from the dog track where the gates have just been opened. And number four, Thacko, <laughs> has taken the lead, followed by Fumble and Critical Hit with Natural 20 taking up the rear. Thacko and Fumble are neck and neck with Critical Hit closing in. This is exciting, listeners. We have a three-way tie. Some of you could win a lot of money here today. For those of you just tuning in, I'm Dick Brickman, and this is Brickman has gone to the dogs, man. And wait, no, no, I missed the end. Sorry, listeners. <laughs> Lump of cold hard clay. I've no use for this right now. I 
Oh, wait, this? Just not really. Just a book I got from the library. Late fees. <clears throat> Proper steamy stuff, this. Dooley, is that, is that you on the cover in a Fabio wig? I, uh, those critters aren't going to catch themselves, are they, detective? Dooley. This is what happens when I can't talk my way out of... Late fees. There are monsters to catch, detective. Oh, my. Poor Dooley. I like that it auto saves periodically. That's a nice touch. Now to fix this with my manly skills and muscles, but mostly by finding a way to cheat this magnetic lock. Nothing's happening. Maybe I need to get the magnet out of the shell. I lost my knife, unfortunately. And my wrench. Don't have a knife or wrench to loosen the screws. Let me try bashing it with a car hood. Hey, it's an adventure game. You try everything until something sticks and works. Or unsticks and works. As the case may be. Tam ain't got nothing to do no more. Prison is a punishing place. there's anything else in the toolbox seems unlikely I've not else of use sorry uh, yes okay it looks like it's ad time again so I'm going to run some clips and we'll be back in just a few minutes so if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so where were we? Thank you, Aaron Lore. And thank you, Greeny. I checked out the message while I was uh, AFK. I appreciate that. she would like the gremlin.
Hmm. Well, at least they're working now in case a second fire breaks out for everyone to ignore. Hmm. At least now it's broken because I took the motor rather than just being broken. I assume all three of those things are going to come up in future cases. Officer Murakami's desk. That guy always has some reason to walk around talking to people instead of doing work. What kinds of cells is this place holding? Human, animal, or vegetable? Wow. Banks was my mentor when I joined the force. That's why they bust me down to desk cop. <laughs> That'll be us one day, detective. You'll be McKing and I'll be Dallas. That thing has a good aim. We should get it on the force. Hey, detective? Yeah? I think you're a better detective than McKing. Thanks, Dooley. That really means a lot. I think you're a better sidekick than Dallas. I don't have her legs, though. Well, no. But if you did, that'd be theft, wouldn't it? Hey, Jen Fair, how's it going? It's good to see you. How are things going? <clears throat> There's a magnet in here if I can find a way to pop open the tiny latch. I'm doing pretty good. A little bit stumped by this game, but uh, generally okay. What have you been up to? How has your weekend been? That's okay. I'm not that stumped yet, Aranok. Maybe soon. These drawers are full of all sorts of rubbish. Like bobby pins. Actually, can I borrow one, Sally? You can just have one. I won't bet want it back after whatever you do with it. Smart. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I can pry the shell off. Yes. A powerful magnet. Okay. Currently making the back of a vest procrastinating voiceover stuff. Nice. Hey, JH, how's it going? It's good to see you.
This magnet should reverse the polarity and let me in. Gramps. Chomp, chomp, claw face. It's too dangerous to get near. I need to find a way to knock it out. Dork side. If I had any feelings of guilt for sending McKing on his dirty timeout, I don't any longer. Role play books. Not actual contraband, but dangerous reading nonetheless. But not too dangerous for our weekly game. Duly. Shh. I hope this illegal magical tome will be okay in here when the door is bust. A plastic skull, a surprisingly more dangerous occult item than a real skull. All that remains from the mysterious walking luggage that ate everything case. Oh my god. A Pratchett reference. Knockout gas. This could be handy if I want to be able to leave that party early. <laughs> A very noisy kids game. That's not evidence. I'm hiding it from Murakami until I beat his top score. Hundreds and hundreds of tiny hats. A man made them to keep mice warm during the winter, but the mice turned out to be a gang of robbers, so we confiscated them. Who do you think wrote these dumb scripts from a comedy game about two cops investigating weird crimes? Nothing? Nobody? Shut up. What? McKing's topless self-portraits. He signed them He signed them in for the crime of being too awesome for the general public. Boxes of jam jars with one scoop taken out from the unsolved scooper case where they'd appear at crime scenes after investigations had started. Oh, that was me. I like eating toast while I think, but always forget to bring the pot with me afterwards, so I keep opening new ones. Harmless. Dooley, we spent a lot of taxpayers' money investigating that. Harmless. A box of odd socks. Our best people are looking into a ring of crooked washing machines that are behind the robbery of the, their other halves. It's about time, finally, that somebody started investigating that. Okay. Powerful enough to knock out anyone in a small room. That would knock me and Dooley out too. I need to find some protection first. Dooley, take this hose outside and keep the air, fresh air coming. Take this, you little monster. Uh oh. While it's unconscious, I'll stuff it into my seemingly magical pockets. You received item? Evidence, Gremlin. One grenade should be enough. I'm taking this helmet off before I go out there. No need to walk around the station raising suspicions or being made fun of by everyone in the precinct. Wait. But what? Hang on. Look, another month. Done, done, dusted. Just like all the books in our massive libraries, as nobody got time to clean them all. Kutisip. Okay. I didn't have a chance to look at the audio balance of the alerts, but it's weird that the alert didn't go off. But, oh, actually, I might know why the alert failed. 
Sorry about that, JH. I'll have to fix that for next stream for tomorrow night. But thank you so much for 65 months. That's amazing. I, I'm still, the, the alerts are still a bit of a work in progress. I was very tired last night, so I did a little bit of work on the alerts, and I think something may have gone wrong with it a little bit, but it, it won't be hard to fix. It's just something didn't save that was supposed to save. That was the narrator. I should let you guys know about this. Hang on just a moment here. I will get you the link. There you go. That's what that is from. Yep, that's true. That is true. So messages that people attach to tips and bits and subs and resubs and all that good stuff, it will now, as long as it reaches the minimum threshold, which is about two bucks, uh, it'll get read as uh, text-to-speech. And there's a variety of different voices that you can do with it if you would use it as a message. So people have been having fun with that. Okay. Ah, we can go back in again. Is there anything else we can do in here? Oh God, jars full of seamen from the mysterious figurine sailor case. Okay, so one gremlin left, and all we've got is a hood. The hood from the king's car, bulletproof but not air vent proof. Yeah, still has this one snoring surprisingly deeply for something so small. The sound overload knocked this guy out. Okay, I wouldn't mind a brief pointer about this one at this point, I think. Like, just kind of a general bullet hole. It keeps hitting that spot while shooting at us. We need something stronger to hide behind. Ah, I just have to angle it like this. Wow. That was a shocking way to wrap this up. Are you proud of that pun? More than I should be. Okay, let's get back to the office before somebody sees us. I don't think this is supposed to be looping this way.
told you it's another sigh. I like the parable one, but I don't think I recognize many of those voices except maybe Bart and the obvious ones like Watch Mojo. I don't know that one. And I'm not sure I know who Bart is either, unless it's Bart Simpson. Okay, let's lock these suckers into their new urn and get back to that party. Party? Um, what are we doing with this? Ugh, I hate that you're making us work on a day off. It's a going away party, not a day off. Well, I hadn't planned on doing any work today. In you go, sleepy monster. Back to captivity, my monstrous pal. Welcome home, lit... <laughs> Oops. I've watched many Watch Mojo and what YouTube videos. I've never heard of them. That's cool, though. I think it's just generic narrator, JH. I don't think it's supposed to be anyone specific. Oops, is that it? What do we do now? Flush them down the toilet and go back to the party? We need to make a new urn, a magical one that can actually hold them. <laughs> Uh. Have a great night, Greeny. Surely there must be something of his we can steal. Hmm, if I could find the right materials, I could make a new urn here. This is a good urn making material. It's too dry to use. Okay, that softened that up. Let's do this. How do you know how to make an urn? I watched that film Ghost a lot for research. There's no point. If the urn isn't protected by magic, it'll break like everything else in the station. You're like 97% done with this case. Linus, I for sure know, and Weeb Zoomer are funny. I You're listing off all the ones that I've never heard of before. Which is kind of funny. Where am I going to get magic? Evidence room, maybe. Maybe there will be instructions in here for sealing magical urns. Let's see, warding rituals, spells to bypass doing the dishes, and aha, uh -huh, a diagram for how to seal magical urns. Handy. Time for some finger crafting of runes. One down. That's two. And that's done. Thank goodness. Let's get this somewhere safe. 
Okay, lock fixed and gremlin stashed away. What have we learned from this, Dooley? Not to eat so much sugar. I'm crashing now. I don't really remember much of what happened. But I'm sure it was nothing important. Now let's get back to the party. Weeb is a 4chan term for weeaboo. <laughs> I understand weeb more than weeaboo. Weeaboo is a mostly derogatory slang term for a Western person who is obsessed with Japanese culture, especially anime, often regarding it as superior to all other cultures. Okay. Hey, where's all the cake gone? We ate it all. Why is this place a mess? What did you two do? Well, there was... And, uh, we... Somebody let off a gas grenade. Nasty, big, pointed teeth. The car was smashed when we got there. McKing did it? <sighs> Another one to file under dark side antics. Probably for the best, yes. Okay, well, you two better start cleaning. The budget doesn't allow for both your capers and custodial staff. Oh, man. Chores and no cake? This day did not play out the way I hoped. 